Do you know what it takes to be a good leader? A better leader, a great leader? The adjective is less important than the feeling you create and the results you generate. Sadly, so many people are promoted into leadership positions and even continue to rise up in an organization without ever really thinking about what is it that makes them good at leadership. You know, anyone can sit in an office and do tasks and push papers. A good, great, better leader is the one that connects with people. It not only impacts the individual relationship and helps to create opportunities and environments where individuals can thrive, but it impacts the organizational's ability to serve its clientele. Now, while not everyone is born a natural leader, fair enough. There are strategies and tools that anybody can adopt and practice and implement into their day-to-day -day interactions to build their influence, their credibility, and their respect. So I'm gonna share with you a few tips in today's video. My name is Tammy Dunnett. I'm a leadership and communication skills coach. Now for 20 years, I have been working in challenging and even hostile work environments, such as Afghanistan, nursing, and post-secondary education. And what I have learned are the tools that leaders need to be successful in high stress, high demanding, ever changing environments. And with more than 5,000 hours in coaching, training and leading workshops in communication skills and leadership development, I want to share with you a few tips today to help you become a better leader when it comes to your influence. Now, before we jump into those tools, first of all, we need to know where you're at. And here's a real quick and dirty assessment tool that doesn't cost any money. You don't need to go through a 360 evaluation to find these answers out. You simply need to take a look around. I'd like to invite you to do this today before we get into some of the tips. But number one is just take a look around at your team. Are they generating results? Are they creative and innovative and productive? Is there a good energy in the organization or are they creating more barriers than solutions, more problems than movement? If you've got a high producing team, keep doing what you're doing. You've got something magical there and it's effective. If you have anything less than that, it may be time to look at your strategies. The second assessment is look at the way your team is communicating. Are they sharing ideas? Are they open? Are they inclusive? Are they having robust conversations and solving problems? Or are they isolated, withdrawn, and keeping their ideas to themselves? If your team members haven't given you any new feedback in a while, example being you've asked for some feedback in a meeting and nobody adds anything to that conversation, this is a prime opportunity to take a look at your leadership skills and strategies and build them up for more influence. So let's look at three quick tips that you can implement right now today that will help to increase your influence and the respect that you have from your team, but more importantly, create the environments where your team can thrive. Number one, stop micromanaging. If you have got your nose into all the details of everybody's role, it is squashing and thwarting any creativity because you're too busy telling them how to do, what to do, when to do. Give the task, ask them if they have any questions, trust the knowledge that you hired them for and let them go and solve it. Now with that, you're gonna create some checks and balances so that they're not just freewheeling it out there. Share the boundaries, share the container, let them go check in frequently, but stop micromanaging. That is probably one of the hardest things new leaders and emerging leaders struggle with because with every level you go up, you need to let go of more below so that you can get more strategic. So you absolutely have to learn how to stop being in the business of everybody that works for you and with you and start trusting that they know what to do and that they will come to you if they don't. Number two, Go out and connect with your team. Leave the office, go out, have conversations with them. Get to know them beyond the work, beyond the scope of the project. Find out what they like to do. Go for a coffee, go for a walk. Get outside those four walls of the workplace to get to know each other on a new level. Human to human, person to person. Connection is the foundation of healthy relationships. Now here's the bonus for you. 
When you get to know your people and they get to trust you more, you build what we call relational currency. What does that mean? It means that your leadership is less in question when you make a mistake. A good, great, better leader can make a decision, it can fail, and your team doesn't like rake you over the hot coals because they have relational, relational currency with you and they are more likely to see you as human, fallible, we all make mistakes, let's fix it and move forward. But without that, every word and every decision you make is under tight scrutiny. And number three, look at the professional development plan you have for yourself and your team members. If you haven't been talking about that, then your team members don't know that there's a plan. So take a look at the opportunities, start to share that with your team, find out what their interests are in so you can align their vision with the goals of the organization and promote a culture of growth and development. Now those are three things you can do today that cost you zero dollars to implement. It's about getting out of your office, doing the scan, connecting with your colleagues, your employees, direct reports, having meaningful conversations, looking at that growth and development plan, and building a thriving team. Now if you're looking to create more influence, if you do not have that thriving, high producing, generating results team, and you have anything other than that, it might be time to look at those strategies. This is where I can come in and I can help you. Whether it's one-on-one -on -one coaching, you wanna get highly tailored, highly specific advice just for you, or it's in the group program called Influence, reach out to me, let's connect, and get you moving towards that good, better, best goal that you have as a leader.